Good morning. Unbelievable. Thank you very much. It's just a tremendous honor to be here. And I've had a tremendous number of people asking me, what is head voice? What is falsetto? And how can I improve my ability to sing in head voice and falsetto? All right? Now, this is very important. As you learn to cultivate that upper voice, you will be able to add more notes to your range, particularly the high notes. Now, remember that it takes more breath pressure to sustain that upper voice. So please make sure to watch the previous videos on breathing if you have not done so already. All right? But the reason why some people do not have a clear understanding of head voice is that they're listening to pop music and many of the pop stars sing exclusively in chest voice, okay? Even on the high notes, okay? And as a result, the sound becomes very harsh many times, okay? And the reason the sound is harsh is rather than using breath pressure, they're singing with an elevated larynx, okay? They're singing with throat pressure, okay? Now that might be okay for a pop star or for a soloist, but that would not be a good thing in a choral situation where you have a large group of singers. The sound would be very loud and boisterous. There would be no tone quality at all, okay? So, the key to increasing your range, your ability to sing the high notes, is to cultivate the upper voice, okay, which is well supported, all right? So we want a lighter head tone production. So you need to develop a sense and an awareness that the vocal folds are becoming thinner, okay? You're singing, when you're in head voice, you're singing only on the inner edges of the vocal folds. And over time, as it becomes habit, you will develop that sensation of, as you progressively sing higher and higher notes, the vocal folds are just becoming thinner, okay? Now, by the way, what is the difference between head voice and falsetto, okay? There's some overlap here, there's some similarities, okay? Falsetto, that voice is just a little bit more light and airy, okay? So the head voice has a little bit fuller, and freer sound, okay? So, if you can make this sound, and I like to think of it as a bird, an owl, whatever you prefer, you will be able to sing in the upper voice, okay? And I will demonstrate, I'm gonna use the word foo, okay? Foo! Okay, just pick any pitch, do it higher. the doorbell, but I'm going to use the doorbell only in the upper voice. So this is a high C. Okay, so start in the upper register. If you're trying to work on head voice, start in the upper register and work your way down. Let's do that one more time. Remember, more breath pressure. Attack on the breath and connect the breath to the voice, okay? Now the register break is somewhere between G and A, okay? So anything above G will be using primarily head voice, okay? So we're gonna stick with the vowel U, the foo. That was from an A, and that's a 
good place to start with head voice. Keep the sound light on these little glides. Okay, use different vowels. Use the E vowel, okay? Use the O vowel, okay? But again, a good place to start is always around G, okay? So, you can start with two steps and then add three steps. Okay, so just practice with different vowels and do different patterns. You can do the doorbell, that's just a minor third. You can do the slides. The most important thing is to develop that sense of singing only on the inner edges of the vocal folds, okay, resulting in a lighter sound, okay? That does not mean we want a thin or anemic sound, so make sure you're breathing properly and the sound will have the fullness that it needs, okay? So practice with my vocals, that would be my suggestion. Practice with my vocals with the keyboard in this video. And if you have a good model that you can imitate, that's usually going to be the quickest way to develop head voice and falsetto. So leave your questions and comments and let me know if I can help in any way. Thank you for your patience.